So you want to get married, do you? You might just want to think that over, men. Pirate trip. Why, more women than ever are cheating on their husbands. Recent article. I'll zoom in. Look at this. Cheating on her husband for 12 years. The mother of two, who is in her late 30s, keeps track of her potential paramours via a spreadsheet, has an untraceable Google Voice number for communicating with her suitors, and arranges rendezvous through what app? What's app? She generally juggles multiple sexual partners at a time and once had sex with four different men on the same day. Now, I guarantee you, even the four men that had sex with her thought, boy, weren't they getting lucky? Yeah, they're just playing around in somebody's leftovers. Don't be going down on women, boys. I'm telling you. Sure, one of these hookups lasted all of 20 minutes, but she didn't care. She didn't want to be cuddled. Well, there's your friggin' warning right there, boys. If you ever had sex with someone that doesn't want to be cuddled, she's probably screwing half the town. I think we've all probably experienced that once or twice in our dating journey. I know I have. Afterwards, she says she showered, took a work meeting, went on a dinner date, and had fun with another man. Her verdict, it was amazing. These women are something else, boys. I knew a girl that I was dating. I thought her best friend she lived with was a little... uh sweet little thing one night she got drunk and told me how her sweet little friend was screwing four different guys and trying to decide which one she liked best and all four of those guys thought they were the only one so when they talk shit and say that men are dogs well women are whores and don't think it's just so isolated this stuff's way more common than you think let's scroll down it was so cool because I got to really be in the driver's seat and got exactly what I wanted. Yeah, wonder how much VD she's going to get and then give to her husband who's ignorant and probably a beta bob trusting his little woman when she goes out on girls night. Jeez Louise. And I just happened to feel sexually greedy that day. Nikki, not her real name, reveals in her new iHeartRadio post she wants more. It's such a power trip to be able to command the sexual presence of people you desire and have them fulfill whatever it is you need, Nikki Tez Piazzi. It's crazy. That's a woman that runs her podcast. Uh, Nikki appears to, on the first episode of She Wants More, Piazza's eight-part series examining female infidelity. Piazza herself, a married mother of three, has spent the last five years interviewing wedded couples. Now, as far as I know, Piazza's not a whore. But about two years ago, she learned that a friend of hers was cheating on her spouse. Then she learned of another and another. You see that, boys? Piazza was shocked and intrigued. I was seeing so many more women I know have affairs and a lot of women I didn't expect. And that's exactly right, boys. The ones you don't expect, often the ones that are doing it. We've all been cheated on. We just don't know it. Them women are slick. So, doesn't really bode well for getting married. If you're an older person, hell, if you're a younger person, it says right here, shit, she was married young. Listen to this one. She spent a year interviewing two dozen women of different ages and backgrounds from all over the country about their extramarital affairs, from a young gymnastics coach who fell in love with her husband's best friend to an accomplished 60-something who has been happily cheating on her husband with multiple partners for 30 years. Happily cheating on her husband. Happily. People ain't got no conscience, man. How you think her husband? Her husband's ignorant and thinks he's got a good woman. And she's been cheating on him 30 friggin' years. Ain't no shame in her game. She don't even give a crap. Conscience is seared, boys. See, Piazza admitted, I'm married. So it's like, oh my gosh, it's the worst thing you can do. It is. But she learned women had complex reasons for sex outside of marriage. She'd become more confident, self-assured, more relaxed than signing up for the hookup side, Ashley Madison. 
and embarking on her first affair. And let me say, if you're a man and you're doing that, you're a piece of shit as well. You know, because it takes two to tangle. Now this here, before, she would beg her husband to spank her, pull her hair, anything without some excitement in the bedroom, then feel embarrassed or ashamed or even undesirable. Well, you know, he probably could have uh, stepped that up there, but damn, she didn't have to step out and be cheating on him. She could have talked to him and even then just divorced the man. Why she didn't divorce him? Because he's taking care of her ass. That's why. Spending all his money. That's the thing. These women will use you, boys, and pretend like they're really good. But she ain't got the guts. If he wouldn't do it, she shouldn't have married him. And once she did marry him, then she should have just, she couldn't get what she wants. She told him again and again, just be honest. Don't be cheating behind somebody's back. Leave. If he's a cuck and he don't care, well, that's up to them. Then he knows. But there's nothing on here that says that these cucks know they're being cucked. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to feel good. Yeah, while well, your husband continues to pay for your house, your car, and everything else, right? That's the way it works, boys. So, huh. And see, even right there, often they met in their very young, late teens. So don't think if you married your high school sweetheart or your college dream girl that they ain't doing it behind your back. Oh, that's pretty eye-opening. And there's her justification. The weird thing about monogamy, it's like saying red is your favorite color. And then you have to wear red and only red. For the rest of your days, says Monique. Now, that's how she looks at marriage. It's just red, and she didn't want to wear red. She's been married for 30 years, cheating bitch. What if I wake up and feel like wearing yellow? Does that mean that red isn't my favorite color anymore? Of course not. Well, bitch, red and a color ain't the same as choosing a husband. You get one, and you, you don't cheat on him, or you're honest, and you get a friggin' divorce. Now, this is kind of shocking. Monique, an accomplished professional in mid-50s with two grown kids. Now, she cheated for 30 years. So the kids undoubtedly aren't even her husband's, more than likely. He wasn't interested in a threesome, so she went on Craigslist. I mean, it's just, she found a younger man. Seeing him on and off for 12 years. The affair was fun, sexy, and enriching. But she would never call it romantic. So for those of you that think women... Need need that romance and stuff? No, they just want to be thrown around, and they, this is something else. Be careful, boys, because then you go end up marrying these women, and they're cheating all behind your back, bring you home some AIDS, bring you home some gonorrhea, some syphilis, some herp, all kinds of stuff. It's about having. A broad experience in life. Yeah, she's a broad, all right. And again, this guy, undoubtedly, the only reason she stays with her husband, he has money, he takes care of her, and provides her with stuff, you know, security. But that's how she shows her uh, loyalty, by cheating. And especially that one girl cheating with four different men in one day. So, anyways... Huh. The West is gone, boys. You can say what you want to about Muslims, but by God, their women ain't going around doing this shit. Got to be something changing. This this is sick. And then, and then listen to this. Monique, this is her, her... But Monique actually thinks her husband knows. Oh, she thinks he knows about their dalliances. And that he is in fine with it. Bullshit, you liar. Imagine this scenario, she says. If your wife had a lover, but at the same time, that made her sexier, like she would buy lingerie or try things she'd never tried before. However, you'd define an increase in hotness. Wouldn't you want that? Hell no, you whore. No. No and hell no. My God. This country is gone, boys. It's gone. I'm out. Be careful.